Hey pandas and all Chatham County students. Um, this is Miss Jeremiah. We're back again for another read aloud from Escape from Mr. Lemoncello's Library. And we will begin um, chapter six today. If you need a little refresher, Kyle is trying to write an essay to earn a spot into the brand new library lock-in that's coming up this Friday night. Um, so let's continue reading. Oh, and if you need to catch up, just go back, please. Um, you can find the videos on my YouTube channel or on Twitter, and you can catch up chapter by chapter if you need to. Um, but here we go with chapter six. Working on his library essay like he'd never worked on any essay in his whole essay writing life, Kyle crafted a killer thesis sentence that compared libraries to his favorite games. And I quote, Using a library can make learning about anything and everything fun, he wrote. When you're in a library, researching a topic, you're on a scavenger hunt, looking for clues and prizes in books instead of your attic or backyard. He put in points and subpoints. He wrapped everything up with a tidy conclusion. He even checked his spelling twice. But Akimi had been right. I'm sorry, Kyle, Mrs. Cameron said when he handed her his new paper at the end of the day. This is very good, and I am impressed by your extra effort. However, the deadline was this morning. Rules are rules, the same as they are in all the board games you mentioned in your essay. She'd basically handed Kyle a go back 500 spaces card, but Kyle refused to give up. He remembered how his mother had written to Mr. Limoncello's Imagination Factory when he and his brothers needed a fresh set of clue cards for the indoor-outdoor scavenger hunt. Maybe he could send his essay directly to Mr. Limoncello via email. Maybe if the game maker wasn't judging the essays until later that night, Kyle still had a shot, a long shot, but hey, sometimes the long ones were the only shots you got. The second he hit home, he sat down at his mother's kitchen computer. He attached his essay file to a high-priority email addressed to Mr. Lemoncello at the Imagination Factory. What are you doing, Kyle? His mom asked when she came into the room and found him typing on her computer. Some extra credit homework. Extra credit? School's out at the end of the week. So? You're not playing my Diner Dash game, are you? No, Mom, it's an essay about Mr. Lemoncello's amazing new library downtown. Oh, sounds interesting. I heard on the radio that there's going to be a gala grand opening reception this Friday night at the Parker House Hotel, right across the street from the old bank building. I mean, the new library. Kyle typed in a PS to his email. I hope at the party on Friday you have balloons. And he hit send. Who did you send your essay to? His mother asked. Your teacher? No, Mr. Lemoncello himself. It took some digging, but I found his email address on his game company's website. Really? I'm impressed. His mom rubbed his hair. You know, this morning I said to your dad, Kyle, can we be just as smart as Curtis mm -hmm. and just as focused in, as Mike when he puts his mind to it? And Kyle smiled. Thanks, Mom. But his smile quickly disappeared when a bong alerted him to an incoming email from Mr. Lemoncello. It was an auto-response form letter. Dear Lemoncello Game Lover, this is a no-reply mailbox. Your message did not go through. Do not try to resend it, or you'll just hear another bong. But thanks for playing. But thank you for playing our games. And that concludes chapter six. Let's hope that this latest obstacle does not keep Kyle down in his quest to get into Mr. Limoncello's library.